Another get, satisfied get, get, customer, oh, Mr. West Dickens. Oh, hello, John. Yeah, poor fellow can't get enough. As I see. Get rid of him, would you? Why? Well, because we're old friends. No. Uh, uh, because uh, we'll team up and fight the forces of darkness together? No. Uh, because I've got something you want. Uh, uh, trust me, you cynical bastard. <laughs> Oh. oh, thank you, dear boy. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh, well. Oh, did you get the stuff? Of course. Oh, excellent. <laughs> oh, wait just a minute. <laughs> ah, here you go. Now these should help. If I've got my mathematics correct, they'll blow the buggers apart. <laughs> and if you've got your sums wrong? Oh, ye of little faith. Now listen, John. You're going to need some more serious weaponry. I've got a plan. <laughs> but you need to pick up some old parts at Riley's charge. Another shopping trip. Yeah. Well, excuse me if my efforts at salvation are interrupting your busy social calendar, John. I'm only trying to help because... Because we're, we're old friends, I know. <laughs> you better not be wasting my time. Uh, me? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Perish the thought. <laughs> <laughs> I must be dreaming. Master work.
Dickens, uh, Nigel, where are you, old man? You better not have gotten killed. Under here. <laughs> Get out here. Are you alone? No, I brought the great mass hordes of the undead with me. Of course I'm alone. Well, it's not the undead I'm worried about, dear boy. I kind of like them. It's the normal people I can't stand. What's happened? No, don't be like that. I haven't done anything, or stolen anything, or even lied that much. What then? A bunch of people just chased me out of town. They blame me for everything that's happened. I tell you, John Larson, I've been selling health tonics for years, from here to Timbuktu, and never once has there been a, a demonic bloodlust or the undead rising up. It's preposterous. Okay. No! They want to hang me! Me! An honest salesman! Can you believe that? Snake oil merchant who cried wolf. Well, yeah, something like that. Um, well, I'm headed south. I'm, I'm headed down to Mexico. I hear things are much better down there. Not to mention the, uh, the climate and the nice locals, but uh, also the merciful lack of cannibalistic morons with infectious eye diseases. <laughs> oh. Did you uh, get the bits and bobs I requested? Sure. Ah, ha, ha. Excellent. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> okay. No, I don't. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, there. Ah, see. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Ah, here you go. <laughs> I risked my life for this? A blunderbuss? Is this a joke? What is this, 1850? Oh, ye of such little faith. You've been hanging around cattle and killers too long. You've got the compassion of a mass murderer and the intellect of a cow patty. I'll stick your faith in this gun where the sun don't shine. This is the weapon of choice for demonic horde killers everywhere, from Romania to Edinburgh and all the other places the undead roam. You can put pretty much anything into it and blow a bunch of the buggers away in one go. Makes your rifle look like a pea shooter. You better not be lying to me. Uh, would I lie to you, John? Uh, to others, I admit the occasional uh, <clears throat> sin of omission. But to you, never, dear boy. Now, uh, oh, 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 wait, 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 oh, wait, oh, ah, yeah. Now, I am headed down to Mexico. Is there any chance that uh, I will see you there? We shall see. Well, if you're interested, I should be at Solomon's Folly in a few days, trying to figure out a way to get in. I hear the border is not as open as it used to be. <clears throat> Ta-ta! <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> In a time of enormous crisis, I might have known the government have you boys doing the work of a common clerk. Well, thank you for your input, citizen. I'm glad you find life so funny. <laughs> My pleasure. Do you think this poor girl's family finds life quite so funny right now? Family? I assume she was a common killer. She's a missing person. Missing presumed dead, I guess. But you keep cracking them jokes. I'm sorry, mister. I guess I spoke a little out of turn. I ain't the one you should be apologizing to. Just find the girl. She's 15. Millicent Waterbury.
you, Millicent? Yes. Come on. Your family's worried sick. What on earth? Thank God you came along. What were you doing out here by yourself? We were so hungry. Even if the fourth there ain't enough to go around, I just wanted to find something to eat. There ain't no food out here but us right now, miss. You should stay where it's safe. Never in all my life. What's your name, mister? John. John Marston. Climb on. Let's get you home. seem to get away from this place. <laughs> like I said, thank you. Good luck helping your family, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Plenty of more just like him, Mr. Comedian. We got a whole host of missing folk.